Consider the example of calculating a primitive of the function arctangent, or arctan x, which is one times the arctangent of x. Yeah. So now we write it as a product and we may use integration by parts since the constant function 1 has clearly x as a primitive and we know the derivative of the arctangent x. Yeah, so we get a product of x which is a primitive of 1 times the original function arctangent of x minus the primitive of 1 times the derivative of the arctangent of x which is 1 over 1 plus x squared. Yeah, we're not immediately there, so the remainder integral is a little bit easier, but we still need to do some work. We're going to apply the substitution rule here, since we get 1 over 1 plus x squared times a half times 2x dx. So we see that if we would take u equals 2x squared, that we find 2x dx is du. So u is x squared. You could also immediately take u equal to 1 plus x squared. We're not going to do this here, but it's equally valid and e equally worthwhile. So here we get u. So if we substitute u is x squared, we get as a remainder integral something expressed in u, and we may resubstitute for u after solving for this integral in u. So we get 1 divided by 1 plus u times a half times du. Yeah, and this integral can be easily solved. So now we have x r tangent x minus, well, a primitive of 1 divided by 1 plus u is d ln of the absolute value of 1 plus u, or well, times a half, since we have this constant a half. And now we need to plug in the integration constant. So now we substitute u is x squared back to obtain x times arctangent x minus a half times the natural logarithm of the absolute value of 1 plus x squared but we see that we may leave out the absolute value since 1 plus x squared is, of course, always a positive number. So we get x arctangent x minus half times the log of 1 plus x squared plus an integration constant c.